Hello everyone. I'm Yuta Yamaguchi of Totori University in Japan. Today, I would like to talk about extracting features of body sway for baggage weight classification. Personal attribute classification using video sequences acquired from surveillance cameras has been widely researched. Several methods have been designed for classifying the personal attribute of gender, age, and clothes of people. A few methods have been proposed to detect the baggage being carried by people to collect specific personal attributes, but consider only the apparent type of baggage. We propose a method to classify baggage by weight as heavy or light based on video sequences of people as they are carrying it. For instance, it can be used to identify people carrying unnaturally heavy baggage at major transportation hubs. We focus on ways of observing differences in movement related to the weight of baggage being carried by a standing person. As we can see, people cannot completely stop their bodies from moving. They slightly sway in different directions. This slight movement is called body sway. Body sway has significant attention as a temporal cue for a standing person. The existence method uses the video sequences acquired from an RGB camera to extract features of body sway for identifying individuals. However, this method is not intended for a personal attribute classification in case of a person carrying baggage. To classify baggage being carried by a person standing as light or heavy, we propose a method for extracting a feature of the person's body sway using a video sequence acquired from a depth camera. Our method estimates the person's head region from the depth images and measures the movement caused by the body sway in each frame. We apply a frequency analysis technique to temporal changes in these movements and extract discriminative features to classify baggage according to weight. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first study in video analysis that focuses on the use of body sway to classify baggage according to weight. We consider the kinds of cues available to classify the weight of baggage using a video sequence of the person carrying it. A spatial and a temporal cue are observable in such videos. The spatial cue is represented by the appearance of the person each time, and the temporal cue by the continuous change in his movements. When comparing people carrying heavy and light baggage, we do not observe a sufficient difference in spatial cue because the weight of baggage does not change his appearance. By contrast, we think that is a significant difference in the temporal cue is observable. We hypothesize that this difference devices from changes in the center of gravity of the person carrying the baggage. We acquire a video sequence of the standing person using the overhead camera. Our method estimates the head region from each frame of the video sequence. And we apply the size normalization of head region to represent the silhouette of the head. We extract a feature for baggage weight classification using the magnitude of body sway computed from a video sequence of normalized silhouette images. 
Finally, we classify baggage weight using the feature. We estimate the head region of a standing person from depth images in a video sequence. It's difficult to separate the head region from a shoulder region at a fixed depth value because people's heights vary. In the camera setting, the head was close to the depth camera than the shoulders. We could thus assume that the histogram of depth value in the person region has two peaks of distribution. We apply all these methods to adaptively set the threshold according to the shape of the distributions. Finally, we set the head region using pixels with depth values smaller than the adaptive threshold. The apparent size of the head region observed from the overhead camera depends on the height of the person. We see that the apparent size of the tall person is large, and vice versa. We believe that differences in the spatial cue caused by height may reduce the accuracy of baggage weight classification. To reduce the influence of these differences, we apply size normalization to the head regions in the silhouette images. Our method apply a rescaling technique so that the height and width of the head of each silhouette image are the same as the corresponding reference values. We extract a feature representing the temporal cue for baggage weight classification from a video sequence of normalized silhouette images. The reference time at which the head is at the center is used because the head moves forward, backward, left, and right due to body sway. We determine the reference time by searching in the temporal direction for the frames most similar to each other in the video sequence of silhouette images of the head region. We compute the difference between the silhouette image at each time and the silhouette image at the reference time to obtain the magnitude of movement representing the magnitude of body sway. Finally, we apply power spectral density to the temporal changes of movement to determine an n-dimensional feature corresponding to the component of frequency. These videos show examples of body sway measured by our method. The left side shows participant 1 and the right side shows participant 2. The upper row shows light baggage and the lower row shows heavy baggage. The left column shows silhouette images of head regions. The center column shows movements. The light column shows temporal changes of movements. We see that the temporal cue differed between heavy and light baggage. To confirm the effectiveness of our method, we collect a dataset of video sequences of people carrying baggage while standing. We prepared two attached cases that looked identical. They weighed 1.7 kg and 11.7 kg. 40 participants participated in this study. We asked each participant to align the arch of his foot with markers on the floor. 
and hold the attache case in the right hand. The time taken to acquire one video sequence was set to 180 seconds. The accuracy of our method for baggage weight classification was 95%. To investigate the important components of our features for baggage weight classification, we visualize the weight vector of the linear SVM. Each dimension of our feature corresponded to the frequency component from DC to 15 Hz. There was a significant difference in the frequency components of waves of body sway from 2 Hz to 3 Hz. We think that these components are informative features because they increase when the person is carrying heavier baggage. We also investigated the accuracy of baggage weight classification when reducing the length of the video sequences from 180 seconds. When it was reduced to 60 seconds, the performance reduced by 8 percentage points. When it was reduced to 100 seconds, the performance reduced by 20 percentage points. We believe that the degradation in performance is related to the periodicity of body sway. We should conduct further examination to reduce the length of video needed for correct classification in future work. To conclude, we propose a method for extracting the feature of body sway from a person standing while carrying a bag by using a depth camera to classify it as heavy or light. We collected a dataset of video sequences of 40 participants and confirmed that the accuracy of baggage weight classification was high at 95%. We showed that there was a significant differences in the frequency components of waves of body sway from 2 Hz to 3 Hz. In future work, we will further evaluate our method on datasets of various type featuring people carrying different weights. And we will also explore the use of the regression technique instead of the classification technique. Thank you for your kind listening.